Bowtie Boss. I'm here with Yorina Yo-Yo Baj, uh, getting ahead of Lion Fight 20 here in uh, Ledyard, Connecticut, Foxwoods Resort. For anybody not in the United States, that's in the United States, right? So anybody watching this in Europe or wherever else, how are you doing? Yeah, good. Good? Yeah. Okay, now, just for anybody in the States, she just told me that she doesn't know a lot of words in English. So we're going to play this thing by ear because I don't know any Dutch. Yeah. So if you want to answer in Dutch, I'll just ask you the questions in English. Oh, we'll just figure it out that way. Uh, so your original opponent was um, uh, Beerman? Somebody? Yeah, K Casey Borman. Yeah. Casey Borman. So she's, she's out as of January, and you have a new opponent, Chantel. Yep. Uh, what do you know about your opponent for this fight? Uh, I fought Chantel in 2009, and uh, then I won the uh, Lion Fight 20 decision. Okay, so you've already fought her before that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And uh, yeah, she's a good fighter. She's a real Muay Thai fighter. Right. And uh, the fight in 2009 was on K1 Rules. Gotcha. So now it's on Muay Thai Rules. So. so are you more familiar or your style is better suited towards K1 Rules or Muay Thai Rules? Yeah, both. I can change my style in that moment in the ring. So, okay. Yeah. So you love elbowing a girl in the face, so that's what I'm, I'm getting at. <laughs> so anybody watching this, don't get elbowed in the face. Um, so, you know, you're probably most known at this point for Chris Cyborg, right? Um, and, and beating her. Some people thought it was an upset just because she had the bigger name. Most people that would follow Muay Thai and kickboxing didn't see it as an upset. Um, what do you think that fight has done for you as far as notoriety and people knowing who you are? Uh, a lot of people talk bad about me before that fight. Yurina uh, uh, for Chris Cyborg uh, is kicking her ass. Chris Cyborg uh, die Yurina in the ring and like that. <laughs> okay. But uh, all that negative um, words make me stronger. Right. And um, I trained so hard for that fight. And yeah, I know that I can win for, for her uh, because she's an MMA fighter. I'm a Muay Thai fighter. And, yeah, she had the balls to get in the ring, sure. in the Muay Thai ring, because she had uh, not so much fights in MMA, and I had the same problem in Muay Thai. I okay. don't get fights in Muay Thai, so I did MMA. Okay. I did four fights, and uh, I lost three. So. <laughs> so clearly, you belong more in this ring yeah, than in that cage, right? Yeah. So you're saying that would basically be the same as if you were to fought Chris Cyborg in, in MMA or a jiu-jitsu tournament or something like that. You already know what the result is going to be, yeah. right? So just like yeah. she comes into your house, yeah. you had to beat her up. Yeah. Okay. I now respect you... her so much that she did it. And... Very cool. Yeah. All right. So what um what are you working on specifically now as you you get you know more into your own as a fighter and you get bigger? Uh, what are you working on more? Yeah, you're training. What are you trying to get better at? What do you see yourself doing? Uh, I train a little bit more with my elbows okay. and knees as well. And uh, yeah, more clinching. I was uh, in November in Thailand and I train more at the clinch. Right. And yeah, I like it. So typically you're more of a kicker or you like boxing on the outside? I can do both. I'm a complete fighter. Right. So okay, you know, real quick, you mind standing up? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So I just want everybody to see this. Uh, I'm normally a very tall guy, but tonight... Mm -hmm. All right. So we'll sit back down. I don't want to do that for too much longer because everybody started looking. Uh, so either way, you see that you're, you're kind of taller. Do you find that you have better range than the people that you're usually fighting? Yeah, mostly, yeah. But right. uh, Chantal is the same height as me. A little, little bit uh, Short. shorter. But uh, yeah, I think we have a little bit the same range. And yeah, okay. we fight. Gotcha. So what's your, uh, what's your prediction? Um, Where do you make predictions? Going for that knockout. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. That's what we're here for. Yeah. So currently, you're Lion Fights welterweight champion. Yeah. And is that uh, you're the inaugural champion, the first first champion for women's welterweight division? Yeah. Um, do you see yourself getting more fights in the U.S. because of that? Uh, yeah. I have a contract with Lion Fight for three fights now. Okay. So the next fight is I think in July, and the other fight is around October. So, nice. Yeah. Very cool. So we'll be seeing a lot more of you. Do you have anything to say to your fans, supporters, etc.? To my fans, supporters, uh, yeah, I hope you come support me the, this fight and the other fight as well. And uh, yeah, um, thank you for supporting me. And I want thanks to my sponsors. And, yeah. Who are your sponsors? Uh, my sponsor, Proceps, is for my supplements. Uh, my sponsor, Sherton. Uh, my sponsor, Esimo, for my boxing gear. And PPS Security, that's, uh, yeah. 
So you have a day job? I have a day job. All right. Eight hours, yeah. So a day job and a night job is beating up girls for uh, pay, right? <laughs> yeah. Sounds like fun. Yeah. I still need to work for 30 hours, so yes. Yeah. Is that full time? Uh, no, it's 30 hours a week, so okay. normal is 40 hours. I was going to say, because in the U.S., we, they, we're like slaves over here. I yeah. mean, they make us work, we have to, like, take no vacations and all the rest of that stuff. In Europe, you guys get oh, wow. vacation time and all that. Yeah. Good benefits and everything. Okay. Yeah. Well, everybody, this is Bowtie Boss with Yo-Yo and uh, head of Lion Fight 20. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right, now that you guys may wait, say something super funny. Uh, <laughs> that's hilarious. Uh, Best drink in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Best banana ever. I'm going to edit this into the video. Thank you, guys. That's how I do it. Super lightweight, 100.